What is up, everybody? It's Mr. Urge here. Welcome back to what remains of Edith's Fence. Now, the last episode, we just had a baby die. We had Lewis die by, uh, you know, getting his head cut off. Man, this is this uh, entire family dies from some sort of random occurrence. And it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of odd. At the same point, it's kind of like, whoa. This, this family's got, like, a super huge curse or something. Come on, I didn't, I wanted to leave. Not stay in there. But I feel like there's some sort of, like, super big curse going on in this, um, in this family or something. I don't know. I don't know what else it could be. How do I get off of here? There we go. Just like that, that's how you get off. And I have been told that I have missed two stories already, and I don't know if I can get back to them or not. But if I can, I will try to. Uh, for now, I'm going to go back. Well, I can't go any higher, can I? All right. Well, we got to find a way up there or something. Oh, okay. We're down through here. I got to get through a door. Oh, it's that window. That window will work. I think. What are you doing? No, I... Oh, I'm trying to look at the door, not the dog back outside. Oh my goodness, this game. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to walk through this door. Not that other one. Jeez. Alright, in we go. On the way the light back is from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. Oh I'm boy. not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. All right, Edie. Have what happened to you? Stayed. But I understand why we left. Yeah, a lot of bad things happened to your entire family, that's what. My mom that's ended why. up leaving everything behind. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Good point. Maybe it should have come sooner. All right. Up we go. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Is this us or is that her mom? I can't really figure that out. Seems like it's us. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper when she raised her glass and said, to our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific- I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. <laughs> Edith is me. Hallway. The power Present. had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom said the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? Jeez. The histories of the Finches. Ooh. Dear Edith. There's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, 
The tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. Whoa. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Keep going straight. I saw where it is. I got turned around. Keep going straight. For a while. I wondered. Okay. I started seeing things. Hello. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. Wait, what? When I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Physically. <laughs> or maybe I came back to them. Okay. Things I can't explain. But that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. And we're leaving. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. Bye, Edie! The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Like, dead gone, or just gone? After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. Whee! <laughs> I, I tell you, everyone on Earth has tried this. It's been in your car, at least. A few years went by. What? <laughs> Whoa, little letters coming off. My mom didn't like to talk about it. What? But Why are there she letters? Started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. Don Finch. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. And then I was alone. Holy cow. The last finch left alive. Dang. Until I found out about you. Who's the dad? I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes and appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. What? This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, Things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. 
I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. What? What? How did you die? Okay, that's a thing that happened. So, I never made it to Milton or Odin. Because Edie, we really didn't see either, did we? Well, jeez, this game has got a lot of a lot of feels to it. I'm gonna see if I can't. Um, Actually, get back to replay a story. I'm gonna see if I can get to Milton. Because we haven't seen what happened to Milton yet. <gasps> Alright, going up. So this must be a spot that I slightly missed. Fortunately, here we go. Milton, Milton Finch in the magic paintbrush. Nice. That's really cool. So Milton's a painter. Milton is a painter. Is that the only thing I can do, or? Did I not see it all the way through? Let's try it again. There's a lot of photos. Milton disappeared. He just drew a painting and went into it. What? It makes no sense. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Jeez. Okay, next one I need to see is Gus. Oh, I guess Edie we did find, okay. So we haven't seen Gus yet, which, what? <laughs> okay, uh, so I must have just missed it. I was already in this room I can't when I was- I imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet. It's a baby, here we go. A poem for Gus. Oh, I didn't see this. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what we're doing here. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Jeez. Oh, what's with the totem things? Oh, 
Ok I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom were the words that I remember. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. You guys gonna actually kiss each other or just not? Okay, never mind. Where's the next rower? Where is that? Are they? No, they aren't. That was a tree. Never mind. Where are the words at over here? There they are. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. <laughs> oh boy! That's not what you say to your dad on his wedding. The wind picked up and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Oh boy, this is gonna end badly. buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Whoa! The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power, but all my father said to this was, make the music louder. out Benjamin Franklin style. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. Whoa. Tornado she death. About him, but mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Hmm. All right, Sam and Odin. I don't know how I missed all these. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I was I guess here, we're all though. Afraid of something. What did I miss? I was here. Maybe it's in here that I missed. Oh, it's right there! Jeez. Oh, oh, it looks like an extra self portrait. Huh? Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm hmm. Am I gonna have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Don. Shooting is strongly encouraged. <laughs> Shouldn't we be leaving? Just want to get a shot of you, Don. Then we can take off. What? 
perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, <laughs> got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. That camera's older than you are. Hmm. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. <laughs> Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff, if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Fish. I don't know, what am I supposed to take a picture of? Just... Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Okay, like what? Your grandpa Sven taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Where is this buck minute, at? Check the map. I'm checking this map the whole time. Hmm. Where is that trail at? Let's see. Nope. Maybe. I have an issue Maybe. finding that trail. Where's the trail at? You don't need to waste any more film on me, kiddo. It could have been... Dad. Oh! Good eyes, Don. Got him. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Where are you at? Dad, I... Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. Great shot, Don! Dang! Proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Oh, Try no. not to think about Dad! It. Oh! Oh! That's a way to go out right there. Dead. All these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Yeah. No kidding. Jeez. Okay, last one is Odin. And then we'll be good to go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude. How did I, how was I supposed to get in? I guess that window, I probably should have gone in. Her room was like a museum. Ooh! For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family, and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. 
But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Whoa! Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Cool. Was that it? Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. No kidding, jeez. I think that is everything. That is everything. Oh my goodness. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Dang. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. There you go. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the oh. pink bathroom. Yep, I've been here. Okay. All right, so that is everything there. Holy cow. Holy cow. There's a lot of story here, but my goodness. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is a really good game. A uh, really good story game, I guess. Um, it's not really as much of a game as it is just kind of a what happened. And there are a lot of feels going on here. Like, holy cow. If I was in this family, I would get the heck away from this house. That's all I would say. First thing right off, just get out of this house because... It kills everyone. <laughs> Anyways, so I will see you guys in the next video. Um, whew. A lot of thinking to go here, but yeah. As I said, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.